Oh. Uh, I got it. Right, we're recording. We're recording. Um, welcome, you guys. This is um, this is the third episode of Takeover. This is the second part of the interview where we're talking about um, we're talking about the album. Uh, we got, of course, you guys can see we got two new faces on this episode. Uh, two action members of a uh, young guy mob nine five sweet a but both from young guy mob um right now we're just talking about um the album um so gabe um well flighty my bad um how was Whatever's it um over. how was it um working uh with us on this project and yeah well, not too different than it always is from working with y'all. You know, y'all crew, y'all who I want to work with. It's always a blast. We've been at this shit together for a minute now. And um, one thing that was different this time around is like, um, you know, it's been like a, a year since the last one. So our synergy has greatly improved. Um, and feeling that was was hella cool, hella satisfying. Just like it coming a little easier, you know, the... Uh, the cohesiveness just didn't take as much effort, you know. We were just yeah. The zone was a little easier to get into, but um, also all our producers have really stepped up. Um, yeah. So that shit was tight. Um, y'all know me. I'm just like I'm the the <laughs> least versatile one of of the bunch. I just spit. I can't sing. I can't produce. I can barely do hooks. But um, working with Will uh, <clears throat> with Willie was hella sick because he. He just hella keeps me on my shit and keeps me learning, you know, like yeah. When it comes to backups and ad libs, he's uh he's very instructional <laughs> and uh, yeah, tells it like it is. Keeps me improving. Uh, recording with Jorian was sick as well, just because he's hella on his p's and q's, has all the technical knowledge, has a uh, fact, has the booth nice and tight. So yeah, all in all, it was just a much more polished experience. I felt like. A lot less of a garage band rapper. <laughs> uh, I feel that. Um, I'm still stick with uh, with Gabe here, uh, Flighty. God damn it, my bad. Right, I'm so friends. I'm so friends with him. I just keep calling him by his, his government name, but fuck it's his government tight. name. We, yeah. um, but um, name the tracks that you were on, and um, each track. Tell me what you like about it, and. Your verse, you know. For sure. Um, I was actually only on two tracks from this side. I was originally yeah, on more, but shit got a little switched around. I'll be more on the next side. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I'm probably on the least tracks, but I'm on the cover. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, Shouts out of that shit, by the way. Oldie but a goodie. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I was on... These are both actually like really good tracks that I like to me that I love, though. Um I was on Grit. That is a newer one. Um, who did that beat, by the way? That was Glare. Yeah, yeah another sure amazing glare. glare beat. Me and Jig, in particular, have always like really just like clicked with Glare beats. Um, yeah, that's for sure. Most but no, nah, this one good. was just even for Glare. I feel like he was kind of stepping out of his box on that one. That shit was just grimy fucking rock and roll shit um yeah the distorted ass guitar sample he didn't like um yeah glare did glare then i'm right then i'm glare right glare didn't like <laughs> um uh the, the the track grit uh he didn't like the beat but we liked it and we dropped verse on it and yeah it's hella funny how like you know like someone's all like oh yeah i don't fuck with that beat but then have someone else to like it i feel like that's like yeah. a whole like different feeling but go ahead continue um honestly i can hella see why he didn't um it was kind of a weird beat a little like daring and shit it was and like there are definitely reasons not to like it but yeah that was i love that shit. that was hype as fuck to me i mean look at me i was destined to like it <laughs> um but yeah also just um how the rappers came together on that was sick like we couldn't really um split up the verse space into like individual people so me and willie ended up like kind of tag team in the first verse part and there's like no transition we just like follow each other up directly and it's sick um because our styles are very different and yeah. the juxtaposition is tough but like um tough as in like hard you know goes hard but um but also the transition was seamless um 
And that was just a fun track to write to, man. When you're writing to a beat like that, it's like it feels just a little less like a work and a little more fun. Um, yeah. I definitely like lyrically shed a lot of my inhibitions on that one and was just fucking grimy and ignorant and uh, yeah. <laughs> talked about some shit I'm not that proud of, but I'm sure I sounded like I was on the track. Yeah. Um, and then, <clears throat> well, was that the, was that the um, the second track you were talking about, or was it the first one? I, was, I mean, the first. Oh, the first one. In order, yes, it was the first one. Okay. And then, uh, and then I was also on two steps back. That's a shorter story. That's an old track. Um, that was me, Jorian, and Indigo Queen when we did something for City Sound like last yeah. year, right? Like a year ago. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you can tell because my current events bars are still about, like, waiting on the election and shit. Um, But, yeah, I'm really glad that made it onto the album because I didn't think we were really going to do anything with that. But that shit was kind of lightning in a bottle. We all did it, like, that night just for the the cypher. And it was kind of, you know, rushed because we had that opportunity. Yeah. But that ended up just fueling the hype. And we all, like, came as hard as possible. And... I've heard from multiple of y'all that like that's uh, one of like one of y'all's favorite of my verses that I've ever done. Yeah, I definitely got some good one-liners off on that one. Great Jorian beat, and it's just got good memories to it, you know. Like yeah, some of the first like some of the first times we ever got like really boosted on some like music video shit by a whole another platform. You know? Yeah. That wanted to just like do that for us for free, like oh flighty, that shit was sick. <clears throat> oh my bad. No, um, <clears throat> damn. Well, um, we'll go ahead and move back. Uh, we'll go to uh, Jig right now, and then we'll go back to uh, flighty. Um, no, Jig, this talk, is this this is like this is new to Jig right now. Like this whole like interview shit right now. Um. Uh, so go ahead and tell us how it was working with, uh, the producers on this project. Uh, I will say it was a little different than usual. I was on LA and Uno and LA was produced by Willie. And I gotta say, I got a lot of help from, uh, him and X with like, just the way I did my verses, trying to like put more oomph in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like more emotion. So I thought that was a big part of this project. Like for me. On yeah. the um, songs I was on for my verses just to kind of be more lively with my shit. So I do appreciate that help from them. Yeah. Um, what would you say is your the track that you did your best on? on <clears throat> closest track? Like which one? Probably L.A. because that one was like a little more serious. I guess you could it say. I thought my single, bars. Basically, yeah, so. I, I thought my bars were better on that. Whereas Uno was good too. I thought I was a little goofy on that, but not the same yeah, vibe. You know? I didn't have the perfect vibe on that one, but lyrically, I think I fucked with what I said. It was yeah. a little goofy and shit, but yeah. I do like that. I feel if I've, uh, just a quick honesty recap. We've seen a little less of Jig. Go ahead and do a quick recap on um, <coughs> about you, how you got your name, and yeah. Well, my name, uh, Jig. Well, where are you from, first? Where are you from? Where am I? Nor- North Highland slash Antelope. So that is where I'm from. Um, uh, and then go ahead and um, talk about like how you got into music and shit. Uh, it all started in middle school, just like for some stupid for, uh, performance I was doing with some friends, and like they were into rap more than I was. I just happened to like, you know, I wouldn't say I was good at it. I could do it. So it started from there, and then. In high school, I had this teacher, an English teacher, you know, who was a fucking rapper in college, and I challenged him when I was... Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I challenged him, and, um... in front Mr. Peters, or Mr. Peter, you know? And, um, I challenged him in front of the whole school. I was cocky as shit. And it wasn't a freestyle, either. I wrote this. (laughs) Had my fucking notebook. It was loaded. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I, I wrote this whole rap on you. And you know what? I spit that shit... He hit a free salt, gas the fuck out of me. Gas the fuck out of me in front of everyone. And like from that day forth, it was just like Humble the fuck out of me. Yeah, Teach me, master. And I was like, no, no. After that, I was like, no, nah, I have to fucking like freestyle. I have to sharpen my game a bit. So yeah. like when I was at my sharpest, it was probably like high school, a little bit after, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Um, um yeah. Uh, I will say that's what got me. Uh, tell us about your name. Jig, my initials. In the past, I went by Six Sense. It was a name that a friend gave me. It's pretty fucking funny. Six um, Sense. But yeah, I think Jig just sounds better. You know, it's my initials. Probably fits me better. So yeah, that's what I'm going by. I feel it. I feel it. Hell yeah. Um, is there anything else you guys would want to add about you know like? Working on this project and um, just how, you know, like, what's your favorite track, too? Starting with Gabe. Ooh. Flighty, goddammit. Damn. That, that is tough as fuck, dude. Um, That's all I'm saying. Well, uh, f- from the uh, ver- uh, the verses that you guys produced uh, out of the tracks you guys are on, like, which. Oh, well, yeah, like, uh, like, like what's your best one? Two, then. Um, That's easy. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I think, think uh, grit, grit is something, something I enjoy, enjoy listening to more, more just because we're all fucking having fun and the beat is hella hype. But on some objective shit, like, we, we all came with some really heavy shit on Two, two Steps Back. back. Um, yeah. And I think that's just... That just that should just hits harder in more places, you know, so I think I'm proud of that one most. Yeah. Jake? Uh, I mean, I'd have to say LA. I just thought, yeah, for me LA. personally, it was probably... Uh, better display of what i can do as far as like rapping and lyrics and whatnot so definitely that one yeah and just the tone yeah of the song and shit too uh so um go ahead and tell me a quick recap of uh um the future you guys' future plans like you know you guys got some shit coming out promote some shit what's up uh starting with uh flighty i heard that um like, you know, what yeah, we can expect I, uh, in the future? Yeah, sure, uh, for sure. I got a, a solo project called Fall Risk, produced by Free Willy. Coming Shout out to Free Willy. Pretty soon, probably at the beginning of next year, because um, I'm sure if y'all watching this, then you already know, but pretty much everybody's got something loaded up right now. Like, there, there's a lot of drops coming pretty consecutively. I'm probably going to be the last one solo-wise. But, um, For sure. And then uh, we'll go ahead and move uh, back uh, down to Jig. What's um, What can we expect from you? Besides, you know, like uh, this uh, side of the project and the, the, the next side that's coming out in next, I don't know, probably November or September maybe. I would I say know. just growth. Growth as an artist to... Um, you know, drop more singles and probably uh, find some direction to, like, create a solo project. You know what I'm saying? I think um, I'm lacking some direction in that department. So, yeah, you absolutely. know, just trying to figure out um, what I should drop, what I should do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I think, think um, you're, you're hella right, Jig, about, about fucking you know, um, direction, direction being hella hard, hard to find solo if you're, like... like um, just, just as opposed to, like, to like working, working with, uh, with, with, like, close collaborators. Yeah, I know? feel the same way where it's, like... Because, because you, you have help with the decision-making. Decision you have, like... There's um, a direction. There's a sound, a feel with, like... And you're, and you're backed, backed up by people you really, really like, fuck with genuinely. So, like, even if you're not confident, confident in yourself, you still believe in the project. project. Yeah. And when, when it's all up to you, it's, like... There's just the, you know... It makes it terrible. Whole ego, ego, but yeah, pressure. Exactly. Like, yeah. I feel it. Group chat. Oh, group yeah, chat. Shit. You guys want to say anything in the group chat? Who's on there? Hey, uh, some of the realest niggas up in here. You know what? You know what? We got XCVI and Vern <laughs> on video chat. Vern. Yeah, I know. Don't forget to be. Wait for Willie to make this music video. Hurry up, Willie. Music video? Oh yeah, I need to fucking go over the script with him. Yeah, yeah make man. sure y'all tap in with, with each other. You do hey, need man, to. I want to give a shout out to the uh, the people in the building right now. They out there, uh, hot box and camels, uh, camel crushes <laughs> in, the, in the studio. Right now. <laughs> you already know. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> Messing with sticker whips. Yeah. Smoking with sticker whips. My name is Lamilton. Milton. Don't play with me. Yeah, uh, before we end this, um, any shout outs um, any, uh, on the everyone on the group chat and everyone here? Shout outs. Mm. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, shout out to the people in the building, you know. Shout out to myself. Shout out to Big Vern, you know. Don't forget the big, you know what I mean. 
Shout out to the camera working itself right now. Shout out to the lights supplying y'all with light. You know, shout out to the uh, PG&E providing the electric. You know what I mean? Uh, what else? Shout out to the lighting and dig, you know, being behind the camera, you know, um, or being in front of the camera, you know, talk, speaking their truth, even though, you know, they really don't be uh, doing shit like that, you know? So, you know, big up to <laughs> Uh, go oh, ahead and uh, no, see, no, tell, no, tell them where they can find no, you, no, X, uh, for that music shit in LA. Everything. <laughs> Alright, everything at XCVI or die. You can even check out the, uh, the B Stars. Uh, right, first off, first off, really, hold on, hold on. Uh, Alright, we're gonna end that right there. <laughs> we're gonna end that right there. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in, watching this. Um, from Sweet A, Young Guy Mob, and 9-5, Deuces.